A most interesting decision you have made, Keeper. You have access to a large amount of solid ground in which to expand. Use it well, as I feel your enemies are greedily eyeing your great tracts of land. I am Kronos, master of strategy. I will train my creatures hard to form elite troops. Then I'll kill you all. I am Raksha. Know that this land of fire will be mine. I'll brook no opposition. Morgana am I, and my enemies are everywhere. I must be ready to repel them. My brave creatures, followers of Draco, let's forward to attack! Evening folks, this is Uncle Troy. Today we're playing some Dungeon Keeper 2. And if you got the Monty Python reference in Mentor's opening monologue, uh, hit the thumbs up button for me. Trigger Trap Boulder Trap Steel Door You're not alone in your ambitions, evil one. For you are joined by four unholy rivals, and all seek to rule this land. So take them on. The prize will come to you when they are gone. Okay, once again we are facing four enemy keepers. Uh, one of them is different. I think the first one there, Master of Strategy, or uh, Master of Training His Troops or whatever, was different than what we uh, faced off against in the last mission. But still, we're fairly, uh, what's the word I want to say, secluded here. We've got a lot of rock around us where people can't uh, get to us. So in theory, we can just uh, build up our troops and then attack once we're ready. And that's what I'm going to try to do. Okay, I think I've got my first victim here. I'm going to lay down some traps. So uh, when I attack here, the creatures, my creatures, will be able to uh, take them out without too much trouble. Okay, it looks like I was wrong, and we don't have forever to uh, prepare. It looks like some enemy imps have dug into my dungeon. Uh, what I often do is drop uh, elves or uh, warlocks in the area with a lot of imps, and they will, uh, of course, shoot at the imps, shoot at the imps. The imps will run away, they'll shoot some more, and they gain a lot of levels that way. Your dungeon has been breached. Your possession spell has been upgraded. Okay, apparently while I was getting all ready to attack the blue guy, I should have been worrying about the green guy because he has snuck in and knocked on my back door. I don't know why, but suddenly I got an urge to attack the blue guy. A fear trap has been created in your workshop. When your entire strategy is based on lots and lots of traps, you need to make sure you have plenty of mana before you start out. Uh, I didn't, and uh, I almost got overwhelmed here. And of course, while I was busy over there, Mr. Green decides now's a good time for him to attack. So I had to uh, draw my creatures away and uh, use them to defend over here. And that's when I realized, hey, I don't have a lot of mana. Okay, you see my little traps sparkling? That does not mean they are vampires. That means that they are out of mana and they would like to fire, but they can't because, like I said, they're out of mana. I came up with the idea of uh, tunneling down here behind uh, the enemy walls, and that way I could. Uh, drop my creatures close enough to the dungeon heart that they would uh, figure out, you know, they could attack it. However, I still got green guys coming in over here and I'm running out of creatures to drop. 
I really should have uh, made sure I had more mana before I started. Your dungeon heart is under attack. You have taken over an enemy training room. Your training room is under attack. I almost didn't notice when that enemy creature uh, ran through my lines to attack my dungeon heart. Uh, he was using the uh, call to arms spell, looks like. But a couple of my uh, salamanders was able to take him out. And now it looks like we've got uh, enough of his creatures knocked down that we can try to attack his, attack his uh, dungeon heart directly. This shouldn't take very long at all. Your training room is under attack. It shouldn't take long at all. Nope, not long at all. Not long at all. Is it much longer now, Papa Smurf? You have defeated an enemy keeper. You have claimed a guard room. Okay, apparently I am completely and utterly misremembering how hard it was to take down an enemy uh, keeper dungeon heart. So I'm going to have to uh, remember to train up my characters higher in the future. And uh, here's a tip when you don't need your traps anymore, you can sell them off. You have claimed a lair. And apparently, me taking out the blue keeper was the. Uh, signal for the green keeper to start attacking my dungeon heart in earnest. Your dungeon heart is under attack. Your creatures are complimenting you on your dungeon. You have claimed a portal. You have claimed a hatchery. Sometimes you can be in the middle of a hard fought battle and suddenly realize all the enemy creatures are gone because the Enemy Keeper has uh, re recalled them. You have claimed a casino. I should have realized it before, but we've got an unclaimed portal right up here. That'll help uh, give us five more creatures, which should help out in the upcoming battle. You have successfully converted an enemy creature in the torture chamber. You have claimed a portal. Okay, the Green Keeper hasn't attacked us lately, so I think it's time to take the fight to him. Uh, plus, I don't think he has a lot of creatures left. I think uh, he did. I did manage to kill some of his, and I know I captured a couple uh, before he could recall them earlier. You have taken over an enemy bridge. Your bridge is under attack. As before, I like to widen the bridges and tear down the enemy walls a bit so that uh, my creatures don't get all bottled up. If you're just one wide, sometimes they hang up on each other and uh, can't really respond to call to arms flags or attack the enemies as well as you'd like. Once again, this is taking longer than I'd like, but at least it's not taking as long as the previous uh, previous uh, dungeon art did. You'll notice I went ahead and took off the call to arms flag. I figure my creatures will uh, hang out and go ahead and attack until the uh, dungeon heart's gone anyway without my prompting. It. You have defeated an enemy keeper. Ta-da! Another... Uh, Another keeper down. Now we just got, I think, one left. 
So incidentally, the uh, plan here is to open this up so I have a five by five uh, hatchery. Uh, that creates quite a few more uh, more chickens for my creatures. You have taken over an enemy room. You have claimed a bridge. You have claimed a treasury. It is payday. You have claimed a lair. You have claimed a bridge. You have claimed a casino. You have claimed a bridge. You have claimed a training room. You have taken over an enemy room. You have claimed a library. You have claimed a torture chamber. You have claimed a bridge. You have claimed a portal. You have claimed a workshop. Okay, while well, my imps were doing the big land grab, and I was waiting for my creatures to uh, heal up for the final battle, uh, I found a high-level creature hiding over here. Your casino is too small. So it was just a matter of uh, having my imps tunnel over to him so they could make contact and uh, recruit him to our cause. And there we go. Now we have us a level 10 salamander. Uh, we'll drop him down here where we can grab a bite to eat because so, we, we want to keep him happy. You have successfully converted an enemy creature in the torture chamber. Well, I was trying to use my side of evil spell to find the uh, last dungeon heart and clicked somewhere wrong and so now we're turned sideways. Uh, I hate doing that because I can never get it quite back the way I wanted it, but hey, here's the dungeon heart. Now I could uh, go over to that portal that I know is his and dig through and then fight my way step by step uh, up to him. Or I could just, you know, put a big uh, what you call stone bridge here and drop all my creatures right next to the dungeon heart. I think I'll do that. That may be cheating, but my view is if the game lets you do it, it's not cheating. Your portals have attracted as many creatures as they can. Okay, I dropped my call to arms flag there and I believe he uh, drops his as well. And unlike previous Dungeon Keepers, uh, this one actually seems to be uh, fighting to, uh, well, pretty much doing a good job defending. He's uh, casting a lot of lightning. He's healing his creatures. He's uh, spending quite a bit of mana to defeat me. And like I said, just putting up a good fight. But by now I have so many creatures uh, so many of them high level, I've let them all work out in the uh, training rooms that he doesn't have much of a chance, but it is going to take longer than I'd like once again. One of your creatures is being held in an enemy prison. This dungeon keeper even managed to capture one of my creatures and take it back to prison, and I believe he's about to start torturing him. One of your creatures is being tortured by the enemy. Uh, yeah, if I can get over to the uh, torture chamber and capture it, I can rescue my creature, otherwise he may be converted uh, by the enemy. You have defeated an enemy keeper. Well done, for you have triumphed against formidable opponents. Rest and celebrate.
Okay, so we've managed to defeat level 11B. Uh, once again, it's a little harder than I remember. I seem to remember levels 11A and 11B being too easy. That's why I preferred 11C, which is the uh, hardest challenge. But I don't remember 11C being as difficult to uh, win as these last two have been. So I may be in for another rude surprise. A well-stocked graveyard can attract the undead. Okay, before you complain that I did not find any of the specials in this map, note that there are none. So I guess I did pretty good after all. I was actually worried about that. Alrighty, that was a love. That was level. 11B. Apparently I can't say level and 11 in the same sentence. So tune in tomorrow or the next time for C and uh, then we'll continue on. Uh, thank you for joining us here. Uncle Troy playing Dungeon Keeper 2. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Uh, please have a good night. <laughs>